Meanwhile, the so-called Islamic State Khorasan has now claimed responsibility for the attacks against the Taliban in the Afghan city of Jalalabad. Now, the ISIS Khorasan has claimed three separate bombings that targeted three Taliban vehicles in Jalalabad on Saturday and another bombing that took place on Sunday on a Taliban vehicle. Now, referring to the blast, the group claimed that more than 35 Taliban members were killed or wounded in the explosions. There was no immediate comment from the Taliban about the death toll. Jalalabad is the capital of the Nangarhar province, the heartland of the Islamic State group's Afghanistan branch. At least about seven people were killed and another 30 injured in a series of explosions in Afghanistan's Jalalabad city. Four IED explosions took place in Jalalabad, at least one of which targeted a Taliban convoy. And amongst those who were killed or injured were women, children and security personnel. Now remember, this is the first deadly attack that has taken place in Afghanistan since the American troops beat a hasty and a humiliating retreat from Afghanistan. There have been instances of explosions and attacks in the last few weeks, but this is the first time that there have been civilian casualties that have been reported. Now just a few days ago, there was a rocket attack in Kabul's Khair Khaneh area, where a series of rockets had targeted a power plant in the Afghan capital. No casualties were reported after the incident and no one claimed responsibility for the attacks. Jalalabad is the stronghold of the Islamic State in Afghanistan. The same group that has claimed responsibility for the Kabul International Airport attack as well that killed over 180 Afghans besides 13 American troops. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.